Hey everybody, welcome back to Dice Throne Adventures. Now, let's beat this gunslinger. Okay, so he's got to get himself set up, and to do that, we come back to our scenario card, and it says his health is 20 per player plus 15. So that would be uh, 40, 55. Okay, so he starts at 55 health. He's a big boy. Oh, and he... Um, Gets to do his upgrading, and his King's Hand tokens, he gets 3 plus the number of players, so that would be 5 in this 2-player game. So he's got his cheating tokens, basically, is what these are, because he is the Hand of the King, or the King's, or whatever. Uh, but the important thing is the upgrading procedure, which uh, comes to his deck. The bosses in this game, there are four of them, uh, at least at this point. I'm not sure if more are going to be coming. Uh, you can check out the Kickstarter page at that eye on the top right corner screen to learn more. Uh, there's the three sub-bosses and then the, uh, the Mad King himself at the end of a multi-chapter campaign. But anyway, uh, his deck has a whole bunch of attacky type stuff that he can use. And it has a whole bunch of upgrades. And he uses his cards pretty much the same way we do. But for his upgrading, we had to pull all of the upgrade cards out. And he is now going to spend all of his CP to... Which wasn't very much. I mean, we got here so fast. I mean, he could easily have 40 or 50 CP. And probably end up installing three quarters of all these upgrades. If not more. But since we got here in record time, he's only going to get a few upgrades. But um, you know what? We didn't get very many upgrades either. But on the flip side, we didn't get hurt very much. So we'll see how it works out. So we just start revealing these one at a time. And for starters, there is Void Shot 2, which costs 2 CP. He upgrades his Void Shot to level 2. That puts him down to 18. Next up, it's Gun Down 3, which costs 4. Um, ba -ba -ba, gun Down 3, that's 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, and then we've got Gun Down 2. Now, he already has Gun Down 3, so he doesn't need this. He will just sell it for 1 CP. Then we've got Hot Shot 3, which I believe he can afford. That costs 4 CP, so 1, 2, 3, 4. Then he's got Quicken 3. That costs 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. All right, let's see what else he's got in mind. Void Shot 3. Now, he only has to pay the difference. He already paid 2. This costs 4, so he only has to pay 2 more. Bip, bip. Same for us. If we wanted to upgrade to a level 3 or something, we'd already done a level 2. Coffin Hunter 3. He's getting all, straight to all the level 3s. Coffin Hunter 3, that costs 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Next up, with only one left to spend, King's Bounty 3. He cannot afford it. So instead, he will sell it for 1. Next up, uh, Coffin Hunter 2. He has 2, so he can afford that. Coffin Hunter 2. Oh, no, no, he won't, because he already had Coffin Hunter 3, so he isn't going to pay for that. He will uh, sell it to get another one. Then we've got Hot Shot 2. He already has 3, so he'll just sell that. Then we've got Magic Bullet 3, which uh, he can't afford. It costs 4, so he just spent everything he sold. Then we've got uh, Quicken 2, which he already has 3, so he's just going to sell that. King's Bounty 2, uh, so this will be an upgrade. Oh no, he can't afford it. He only has one. This costs two, so forget about that. Death Wager 2, um, right? He can afford this now, so there goes those two. Bippity bop. And uh, Death Wager 3, it costs two more. He can't afford the difference, so he sells it for one. And then finally, Magic Bullet 2, which he cannot afford, so he sells it for one. All right, he has done his upgrading. So he's got one, two, three, Four, five, six of his abilities are level three. Um, wow, yeah, he just jumped right into those level three. So he's still feeling pretty good. But um, he doesn't have a lot of CP left over. And he's going to use his remaining CP to use the special powers of the remainder of his deck. And so, like I said, it could have been a lot worse. He could be level three on almost everything and be looking at seven or eight CP. So he could just really start working us over immediately. But that's not how it came out. So we'll start over the rest of his deck. And let the battle begin. Now, if I recall correctly, I think it was Mr. Samurai who found him. So, it's going to be Samurai, and then him, and then a Huntress, and then him. And Samurai, then him, Huntress, then him, until he wipes both of us out, or we wipe him out. And I gotta say, folks, I'm feeling pretty good about our chances. Alright, so for starters, upkeep. I don't, I'm not on fire, I'm not poisoned or anything, so I'll just go right to my income. And, ooh, this is a big, uh, an, an epic card I've got. Uh, if I spend 2 CP on this, everybody gets a level 3 loot, just like that. Or if I, and I don't have enough to upgrade my Katana Slice, so what am I going to do? Uh, yeah, let's, let's have some more loot. 
I mean, because heck, maybe we'll get loot that'll give us more CP or something like that. So I'm going to spend two, so I'm broke again. Treasure Hunter! Everybody does a purple loot. So roll well. All right, it's a two! <laughs> a two. That gives me a plus three attack. I mean, sure, that'll help. And let's see, over here we've got a 19. That's more like it. So that is another. So, Jen banks this. We don't know what it is. Normally, this would have cost us 20 gold, but it's only going to cost Jen 5 gold. Win or lose uh, against this fight, afterwards, we will get to go shopping. And we'll draw a certain number of cards, be able to pay them, we'll be able to buy more salves, um, and Jen will be able to buy whatever this is for only 5. And in the meantime, she'll just keep it tucked under here for later. Okay. So, that was it. I'm broke. And, uh, yeah. I was really hoping to roll to draw some more cards, you know, or, or, or to get or to get some more CP or something like that. But uh, actually, no, I would have broken even on CP. But Salvi, I've done that. I have no more CP, so I cannot play any more cards. So let's go right on to the roll and roll them. Okay, what am I gonna go for? Right off the bat, I've got four katanas. That's six points of damage. But I haven't done my katana upgrade, which means it would be seven points of damage and. I would get to shame him with a three of a kind. So, alrighty. I got two rerolls, although remember, I only want to do one reroll so I can earn more honor. Do I just go with this to do six points of damage and nothing else? Or do I say, uh, try, I mean, because hey, I've got one Rising Sun. If I could get another Rising Sun, I could go straight to Wakasashi. Wakazashi, level 3, which would give me a backstrike, so I'd be able to automatically counterattack when he attacks me, and I would shame him, and it would be 4 undefendable damage. Which would be pretty nice, because his defense is, well, he only rolls 1 die, and when he does it, he does 3 points of damage, and then um, we each roll 1 die, and if my roll is equal or greater, if his... if it, oh, if his roll is equal or greater than mine, then half the damage I do will go away rounded up. So every time I hit him, he automatically hits me for three. Yikes. And he has the potential to slash my damage in half. So that's why I'd rather do an undefendable, because then he wouldn't be able to defend with his quicken three instead of his quicken one, where he only does one point of damage automatically. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see, and Jen could... She, oh, all right, oh, no, she, uh, right. Uh, select one of your opponent's dice and force them to re-roll it. So Jen could use this to help me re-roll to try and get this so I do unblockable damage uh, of the 55 and inflict shame and get the backstrike. And, but I, I, I there's no guarantee. <sighs> or do I just want to... Uh, all right, let's see. Well, here's another thing to consider. I've got a one, two, three. If I roll both of these to get a four, I could do Budo, which gives me honor, and then does six points of damage, which is better than... Well, I've got six right now. I've got that locked in. But six and honor, which increases the amount of damage I can do on top of that, is very nice as well. So do I go for that? Do I roll two of these, hoping to get a four, so that I've got the small straight? Or hoping to get a four and a five, so I can get the big straight? Uh, go bigger, go home, folks. I'm going to roll again. Here we go. 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 Show me a four. Show me a Kabuto. Wah! All right. Oh, my gosh. A four and a five. Booyah. That's how we samurai it, folks. Nice, nice, nice. We're scupping past the Budo, going straight to the Masamune, which, unfortunately, I never got a chance to upgrade, but it is still going to be pretty nice. And because I only rolled twice... I've earned more Bushido, which I'll get at the end of the round. So, large straight, seven points of damage, and roll four dice. Add one additional point for every sword, and um, add one shame for every helmet, and on a rising sun, get a strike back. Nice, nice, nice. So we've already got um, seven damage going his way. And let's roll and see what else we get to throw on top of that. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten damage is coming away, and I've earned a strike back. Okay, which um, I can use when he attacks me, which is going to be pretty soon. So, 10 points of damage. Nice. And if I want, I could I could use this to honor and bump it up to 13. What the heck, let's do it. Let's spend my honor that I've saved and go up to 13. And what the heck, let's use this that I just got. 13, 14, 15, 16! 16. 16 points of damage. Nice. Okay. 
How do you like them apples, Mr. Gunslinger? And Gunslinger says, well, first of all, here's three damage to you, and it's unblockable, or it's undefensible. That's what the red damage means. So I take three points of damage, and I've already forgot. How much damage did I just do? Um, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, six. Yeah, sixteen points of damage going his way. But now he could shake eight of it off just like that. Ah, so what do I have to roll better than him? I have to roll equal, or see if your roll is equal or greater. So yeah, I have to roll better. Oh my gosh. Although, uh, Jen can lend a helping hand. Let's see what happens. Boop. A four versus a one. Oh no. No. Eight of my 16 damage is gone. Ah, all righty. So if Jen does a helping hand, she could force him to re-roll, although that doesn't do any good. I mean, where are the chance? I mean, even if he rolls a one, I rolled so poorly. I, I deserve no honor. Okay. Um, but she could use this to force me to re-roll, but I'd have to get a five or a six. And she'd be spending one CP. She can afford it, though. Mm. Okay. Um, 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 um. I don't like the chances. I don't like the chances. It's only one reroll as well, so that's unfortunate. We only did eight points of damage. All righty, shoot. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Boop. Still not bad, but not as good as it could have been. All right. Oh, I hang your head in shame, Samurai. You thought you were good, but you were not so good. Okay, so that was it. But now um, uh, he uh, gets his Bushido and Mr. Man strikes back. So he draws the top card of his deck. So he would like to exercise his cold heart. However, this requires three CP. He only has two. So that means he's just going to sell it to get more CP to save up for a power otherwise. But if he could have done it, he would have dealt two damage to unblock, undefendable damage to everybody. Um, right, so he didn't get to do that, so he's saving up for some other thing, but now he gets to roll like normal. And his roll objective is to get a straight. He is trying to get a straight to either trigger, um, gun down or death wager. That is what he's going to roll. He gets to roll three, just like any normal player. And let's see what he's got. Alrighty, there's a two, a three, a four, and a two. Oh, uh, that's not good. So he's already a one, if he gets a one or a five, he's already at gun down. And uh, he didn't. He got another three and four. Oh my gosh. Come on. Come on. Uh, show me uh, double threes. Double threes. Ah. All right. He got a one, two, three, four. He pulled off a straight. So he's going to try and gun me down. All right. So he, um, him and me, we each roll a die. If um, his roll is equal or higher than mine, he does 11 points of damage to me. Otherwise, he does seven points of damage. So Shogun, this is your chance to make up for your terrible... Um, performance on the last roll-off. Two versus a five. Okay. Well done, sir. Um, so, only seven points of damage instead of eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yikes. So, uh, still pretty scary. Alrighty. Well done, sir. And uh, he's done. Alright. Now, we move on to our friend, the Huntress, who uh, gets another card. She could upgrade her Feral Instincts, um, which would cost two. All right, and speaking of, she has one more. All right, and she is poisoned, so she loses one hit point. Boom. So that's uh, not a good start. Okay, so what do you have in mind? Now, I should have said, by the way, before this whole fight started, once we found him, we did have a choice. Like with any regular encounter, uh, we could have fled. And um, if we'd done it, uh, unlike a regular encounter where you roll and um, you know, there's, a, you know uh, there's a chance... It doesn't work out for you. Here, if we had just chosen to flee, the entire mission would have been over and we would have been able to go shopping. And it just, we, we, we seen him and, ah, okay, that's too scary for us. We could have run away. And then we could have spent all our gold, which wasn't very much because we found him so fast. Now, on the flip side, now that we're fighting him, we cannot flee anymore. If we beat him, we will get 20 more gold to add for our shopping. And we'll get to move on to the next chapter in the storyline. If we lose, we will lose half of our gold. Which at this point really isn't that terribly painful. Although it is. If we lose half this gold, Jen can't even afford to buy this. Oh my gosh. That's kind of scary. Um, so, 
Uh, all right, so we definitely want to win. That's all we got to do. We just got to win. Uh, after he just did seven, um, eight, nine, ten points of damage to me. No problem, no problem. And I only did eight to him. No problem. Okay, so um, our girl Huntress is up. She's got... All right, so first of all, she is done being poisoned. Get that out of here, she says. This is going to cost one. And remove up to two status tokens from a chosen player. Well, she only has one bad one. All right, so... Uh, anyway, she's... Oh, again, folks. Gosh darn it. Um, please bear in mind that um, I... Uh, you have to have the Klingon subtitles turned on because let's put her on hold for a little bit. I totally forgot the second half of my turn. He attacked me. He did seven points of damage. Not necessarily, though. Because it was a regular attack. It's regular damage, not special damage, which meant I had the chance to stand tall. I could... Every uh, character in the bottom right has a defense. Stand tall, maternal bond, um, quicken. I, since it wasn't a blockable, I should have rolled three dice to try to avoid that seven points of damage that was coming my way. And also, I had Backstrike, which is, when um, I am struck, I can choose to spend this token, and if I do, I roll one and deal half that damage to the attacking player. So, he did attack me when it was still my turn, so I'm Backstriking. Show me a six. A one. So I did one point of damage to him because it's rounded up, so that was one extra point of damage. That Backstrike was not so great. But anyway, I'm now going to roll three to stand tall. Alrighty, a 5, a 2, and a 1. Or more importantly, I care about the icons. Every sword, that's two more damage I did to him while standing tall. And these are unblockable, or undefendable damage, so those went through. And I rolled my helmet, which um, prevented one point of damage. So instead of 7, he only did 6. Very important to actually defend yourself in a boss fight. Alright, so... And, um, interestingly, if I had rolled my Rising Sun, I would have prevented two damage. And there's another problem. When I stand tall, if I didn't roll a Helmet or a Rising Sun, then I would get shame of myself, which means I would do less damage in the future. Anyway, so I totally forgot to do that. So that mitig I did a little bit more damage to him. He did a little bit less damage to me. Then it was Jen's turn. She has already um, said, get that out of here, her, uh, her poison. And so she's still got four. I think she will go on ahead and spend two of it to get Feral ups, up, up, uh, uh, Instincts um, done. And so she's still got two for a Helping Hand or a Prowl. Or the Prowl is free. Let's just uh, go on ahead and start fighting. Let's see what she can pull off. Alrighty. So, well, um, hey, I could start working on this Feral Instincts. Because I just need my most common thing, uh, one in three shot of draw, uh, drawing the Spear. This would get me a Bond. And um, it does three undefendable damage, so he would not get to quicken level three on the way back. So that's pretty cool. I've got two of the soul bond, which means we could resuscitate. But, you know, near is at full health, so that doesn't make much sense to do that. We've got two claws. We need one more claw and uh, uh, the, uh, what do you call it, the saber tooth to do savage. Um, far away. I, I think I like this. Let's go for the instincts. Let's see if we can pull that off. So I get two rerolls. Here we go. All right, that's one. Ah, I just need one more. Oh, man, that's kind of scary. So that's not working as well as I would have hoped. Am I going to pull an audible? I could pull an audible right now. Instead of rolling one more time to try to get that last spear, I could say, to heck with it, let's go for predatory advance instead, because I've got what I need over here, which is five points of damage, but it's regular, so he will get a chance to do his quicken. And I'd be healing uh, Naira, which really isn't going to do that much for me. Um, no, 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 no. We're in for a penny, in for a pound. Let's do it. 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 I'm rolling two dice. All I need is one spear. All I need is one spear. A one or a two. A one or a two! Yes, there we go. Okay, boom. Feral Instincts, level two. Alrighty, I can bond with my kitty cat. And three um, unblockable damage, so that's just uno, dos, tres. He cannot defend himself. Yay! Now, while I'm at it, we're gonna prowl. Let's throw this in on top. Roll a die. It's a two, or it's a spear, which is just one more damage instead of three more damage. Oh, well, still, every bit counts. We got a long way to go and a short time to get there. So I have prowled. Okay, and he cannot fight back. Yeah, baby. All right, uh, still got two uh, command points. Could spend these to draw three more cards. Um, let's see. But no, I'm going to save it. Save it. So we're done. So now it's his turn. 
What do you got up your sleeve, uh, Gunslinger? Why, a Cleansing Touch, level 2. Right, he needs 2 command, which he does have. So, boop, boop, he is going to hit us with this thing. Remove all negative status effects on yourself. Oh, well, if he if he had been shamed, he would get rid of it. So, okay, so no big deal. That, um... Ooh, does he still do this anyway? I guess he does. I, I mean... The rules, rules say if he can do it, he will. I could be wrong about that. If so, watch with the Klingon subtitles. Paulo would have uh, fixed that. Um, but I think he does, does still do it. And he is trying to get all slashes now. Let's see what he's got. Which means he is going for hot shot. Now that's what he's going for. After he's done rolling, if he didn't get that, he might have still ended up with something else. All right. Uh, he is on his... In fact, he has hit level one of hot shot. He gets two re-rolls. He's at level 2 of Hot Shot. Okay, he did a level 2 Hot Shot, which is 8 points of damage, and on 2 of a kinds, inflict Knockdown. So, yeah. Um, he is knocking me down. What is Knockdown? Let's take a look at Knockdown. Alrighty. Uh, to remove this token, a uh, player afflicted with it must spend 2 command token or points, or 2 combat points, uh, before the start of their offensive roll. If the player does not, they must skip their offensive roll to remove this token. Wow. Ouch. Um, let's see. And it's on two of a kind, um, numbers. Okay, did he get a two of a kind? Yes, he did. He got two ones, so he pulled that off. So, he's knocking me down. He's got a two of a kind. Where is that icon? It looks like... Uh, oh, it's over here. Yes, of course. So, he's knocked me down, and he is doing eight points of damage coming my way. But I am going to stand tall, ironically, because I've been knocked down. And I'm going to roll three dice back at him. And hopefully I won't shame myself. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Ah, no, 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 no. That not, attack is not coming here. That attack is coming at her. She has to use her maternal bond. Although the interesting thing about the Huntress is she has a choice. When she is attacked, she can either defend or she can have Nera take the damage. Oh, I forgot, by the way. Nera was active, so Jen did two more points of damage. Oh, so much. I wish I could be showing you the the solo version of this because it's very hard to keep all of these options in my head. Anyway, so Nira had been available, did two more points of damage. Anyway, so Nira is up. Um, what is it? It's eight points of damage. Nira could take the eight points of damage, which would knock her out. And then we'd have to wait for her to get back up. Or we can go for the maternal bond, which means I roll three and um, I do counter damage. For every spear I roll, I do a counter damage. And for every spirit bond, I heal Nira, which doesn't do any good. She's a full. And um, for every claw, she does two points of damage. So if I rolled... I'm not saying this is the roll, but that would be one, two, three. I would be able to do three unblockable counter points of damage but I take the eight. Instead, my kitty cat is going to bravely jump in front of me and um, take all the damage and flip over to the downed side, which now, on an upkeep phase in the future, uh, she will slowly start healing, or I could heal her to get up faster. All right, so thank you, my, uh, my uh, spirit uh, companion. Okay, so, and what else happened? It was, right, oh, but it was still a knockdown. So in the future, got to deal with that before we attack. But anyway, so that was it. Now it's back to me. Now it's back to my turn. Okay, let's get some income. Triple up. So I can't afford this to draw more cards. I can't afford either of these, so I'm just slowly building back up. Let's start rolling, rolling, rolling. All right, so I could go for a katana slice right off the bat very easily, which would be a mere six points of damage. And it, again, it's defendable, so he would counterattack and do three and potentially get rid of half my damage anyway. Now, on the other hand, though, I do have a one, two, three, four. I've got Budo, which means I can earn honor and do six points of damage. Let's do that. Let's go for Budo, and let's do one reroll, one reroll, and, and get that five. Nope. Okay. So, although I am... Um, no, so I'm still at six points of damage over here, six points plus honor. All right, so I could re-roll again to hopefully get the five, but if I do, I don't get my Bushido. I won't. I only have a one to six shot of getting the five, so let's just stop re-rolling, go for the Bushido. Um, right, so here I earn the honor, I get six, and if I were to spend this, it would actually be seven, but I'd rather have two, so that could be plus three instead of plus one. So I'm just doing six points of damage to him. He is going to um, counter with three unblockable damage to me, Right? One, two, three. Ouch, ouch, ouch. And we're going to roll off again and see if I can actually do my measly six points of damage. Again, he totally destroys me, so I only do three points of damage. One, two, three. Ouch. 
measure, but at least I was honorable about it. All right, so we'll see how that goes. We really need to pull off our Shogun or our Jungle Fury. A 13 points of damage, 12 points of damage, but it is very difficult to do because you need five sixes, basically. All right, so um, that was me attacking him, and now he's going to attack me right back, which means he's going to draw. He wants a shootout, but he doesn't have enough, so he'll sell that to get another CP. Oh, but he does still care about this because he's trying to get all... Oh, what are these called? All chaos. I've been saying um, these are vortexes and the red are chaos. He wants all chaos, which means he wants all sixes because he's going for his barrage. Uh, he got two. He'll keep rolling to try and do that. Uh, fail number one and failure number two. He got three. All right, so he failed at that. He didn't pull that off, but did he do anything? He can't do Coffin Hunter. Does he have a straight? Uh, two, three, six, six, six. Nope. No good, buddy. No small or large. No magic bullet. He did pull off a King's Bounty, though. All right. So he's King Bountying me. Inflicts the Bounty effect. There's a bounty on me. All righty. What does that mean? All righty. Um, when the player afflicted with the token is attacked by an opponent, the attacker increases their damage by one and gets one a command point persistent. Oh, that is not good. All righty. So he's got, there's a bounty on me. And then deal five, undefendable, so I can't even stand tall to shake this undefendable damage. So I take five, but because of the bounty, it's really six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm down to five hit points. Undefendable with the king's bounty, so that's that. And I didn't get to stand tall. Ugh. Okay, I'm done. Let's move on to Jen. Let's see if she has better luck. She uh, gets to dig deeper. Ah, you can reroll a treasure die one time. That is not going to help us much in this fight now, because we're done getting loot. Uh, she, she might, she's going to sell this right now just to get another command point, because that is not going to help this fight. All right, so... and uh, Oh, and she got one command point. And right, so she's going to play triple up to get some more cards. I think so. She's going to spend two to get three cards, because we, we need to pull a rabbit out of our hat. One, one more time. Pounce. And what status effect? Ooh, she could use this to get rid of my um, bounty. She could use this... Remove all status from one player. Ah! So she get rid of her knockdown, or she could get rid of my bounty. Darn it. Uh, pounce. Um, you know, add more damage and potential bleeding. So she's definitely going to use that this fight. And one more time, a chosen player can perform a reroll of up to five dice once during their offensive roll. Okay. And helping hand, select an opponent's die and force them to reroll it. Ah, oh, I really should be using that. Because uh, he's... I mean, I, mean I, I could have could have forced him... if. If, you know, uh, just this, no, actually, because he had, he had, the, I mean, if I'd done this and forced to reroll, then it would, ooh, then it would have been Coffin Hunter instead. Say la vie. All right. So what are we going to do now with uh, this? Right. Well, she has the knockdown, which again, what does that mean? Uh, she has to spend two CP before the start. Um, otherwise, she can't attack this turn and it'll go away free. So either she gives up her last two CP I mean, she could get rid of it with this, but it would cost 2 CP. So, either way, she's got to spend 2 CP to get rid of this to attack, or just pass on attacking. Ouch. Alright, she'll just spend 2 CP to pass. Uh, so this is gone, so she can attack. And she'll try to build back up to get rid of this later. Alright, so she can attack now. She got back up again. They're never going to keep her down. Although, wait, at the beginning of her turn, during her upkeep, Nira started healing. And now, um, if it, we can trigger any effects that do more healing, she could get, as soon as she gets to five, we flip her back over and she's ready to start helping. But now, because she's down, we no longer get the plus two on attacks. So, one, two, three. Um, so, we're almost at Savage. Even though she's down, she could still tr um, trigger the Savage. Oh, wow. I do not like. We're close to Predatory. Which would heal one and do five more damage. Let's try to go for that. All right, so we just need one more spear, which we got. Okay. Although, we also have a one, two, three, four, five. Hey, how about we do a, a large straight instead? How about we do an onslaught? Yeah, baby. Instead of healing a Nero by one and doing five um, damage, let's inflict two bleeds. Boom, boom. And um, deal seven points of damage. Like it a lot. All right, so seven points of damage. That means he quickens, which means automatically an unstoppable three comes back. And we now have to do the roll off. A one and a... Okay, she knows how to stare this guy down. So she got to do her full damage of seven. 
Or no. Um, yeah, I didn't. Yeah, so uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're on our way. We're on our way. Ah, the samurai's not really pulling his weight, but um, Huntress is doing okay. So uh, she did the, the full onslaught. And he hit back for three, but didn't get to split it down. And right, so. But I totally forgot. I totally forgot. She was going to pounce as well, wasn't she? Yes, she did. She was going to do this to add more. So she had seven plus seven, eight, nine, ten. And she had two opportunities to bleed, but those were already there, so that didn't matter. But it was actually ten she did, not seven. So one, two, three more. There we go. That was a good use of the pounce. And she is out of command points. She can't play any of her cards. And um, Nero's a long ways to getting back up. And now he strikes back. All right. Although, first of all, he bleeds. One, two. Although, um, wait, no, no. He gets to roll before the bleeding. So he rolls two. And he rolls poorly. So he continues to bleed. He has to roll high to get rid of it. And um, now he wants to eat lead, sucker. Or, I guess he wouldn't say that. Eat lead, cowpoke. Alrighty, so he has one CP. He will spend that to roll five dice and um, do one point of regular damage for... And that's uh, two. So he did two points of damage. And now this is not a regular attack, so it can the defense can only be off of an attack. This was a... Oh, wait, no, this is an attack modifier. Right. So two more damage, in addition to whatever else he's going to do, is coming my way. Alrighty, so let's just put this over here as a reminder that he's got that plus two. And now, what's his roll? He wants two slashes and two chaoses, which means he's going for the king's bounty because it works so well on me. So he rolls. There's his two slashes. Uh, and, oh, he failed. He failed! Hooray! Yes, okay. So he totally failed. And if I recall correctly, when bosses fail, that's just it. Too bad. Oh, wait, no, that's not true. Because bosses are total cheaters. Um, when they fail, they have the opportunity to spend one of the king's dice. And they, they um, let's see, in scenario two, I think they can only do it once per turn. Yes. So he is going to spend one of these, and he's going to roll. On a four, five, or six, he is successful, which means he gets to start his entire fight over again. So show, show me a one. That's a one. You failed, buddy! All right, if he'd rolled a four, five, or six, he would have started doing the triple roll all over again to try to go for the King's Bounty again. But he totally failed. Nice. Okay, so she did not get hit. She um, is not going to maternal bond back. So that was it with him. Okay, Samurai, you are up. Show me what you got. Follow through, an attack modifier. Katana Slice cannot afford to upgrade that. Um, could have drawn more cards, but wouldn't be able to afford them if we did. So we're just going to leave it at that. He it does have a bounty on him. Um, right. Oh, by the way, oh, he should have had one more command point from that bounty when he attacked me before, I think. Oh, it's, it's all spiraling out of control, folks. It's very hot in here. Uh, but anyway, so we're not going to play anything because we're really low. We're just going to roll. All righty. And we have plus three damage if we want to spend this. And once again, it's all about katana slicing, which would be six points of damage, which he would do three right back to me, unblockable. And then I would totally fail to do that damage to him anyway. I don't think it's worth doing that again. I need to hit him with something undefendable. So he can't hit me back. Which means I want to go for uh, Wakasa Wakazashi. Or I want to go... Well, I'm a million miles away from that. Alright, I'm going to take a shot. I'm just going to keep these. I'm going to keep a 1 and a 3. Because maybe I'll get a straight out of it. And I'm going to try and roll for the Rising Suns. Oh, man. I don't like my chances. I need two sixes. Sixes. There's one of them. Oh my gosh, folks. Now, rolling one more means I get no, um, whatchamacallit, but I just need that six. I need that six, folks. Sammy needs a six. Yes! 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 Okay, so, I get a strike back. So when he tries to hit me, I get an automatic counter-strike. Shame! Shame! Which means he does one less point of damage off his next attack, and um, deal uh, four undefendable damage. So which means he will not get to do his quicken. One, two, three, four! Nice, nice, nice. Um, right. Okay. Oh, and by the way, he doesn't have this plus two because he totally failed on um, trying to do that attack. 
because he just totally failed. All right, so um, the four unblockable, the shame, the strike back. I did roll three times, so I don't get... Oh, but I will spend both of these to do three more points of damage and say it's, again, unblockable. One, two, three. He's down to 16. Well done, sir. You have redeemed yourself. You are an honorable samurai. I bow to you. If I don't know if the samurais did that or not. I'm getting a little carried away here, folks. But anyway, so Jen's turn. She draws a card. Uh, oh, wait, no, first of all, during her upkeep, Nira is getting closer. Then she draws a card. Maternal Bond 2 to upgrade that. Um, get one command point, which means she could do one more time or helping hand. And uh, those are both responses, so let's just roll, see what she's got. Show me what you got. Slash, slash, slash. Oh, it's maybe time to get Savage. Which means, although this is not unblockable, but this does have the chance to um, heal up my kitty cat, which would be nice. What else would I do with all those? I've got one magic, or er, soul bond. If I get another one, I could heal Nira for three and get her back up in Adam so that she could, you know, run interference. Oh my gosh, have I not used this plus two this whole time? Oh my gosh, we have a, we have a, what's it? Okay, I'm using this to heal her two more. Bip bop. Totally did that. Durr. So she's almost back up now. And I've got this plus two. Let's just say I use this on some turn. Um, before I forget. And if... That's a total cheat. Paulo fixed it. Uh, I'm just going to... Uh, I don't want to take that three, but she's at 21. I think it's going to be okay. Let's just go for the Savage. Is there any reason to re-roll this? Because I could I get something else out of this. I've got a four... Uh, no, I can't get to a straight. Yeah, I'm just going to stick with it. All right, so Savage. That's four points of damage. And roll a die. That's five points of damage. Not what I was hope hoping for, mister. All righty. I could one more time it. But now nah, we'll just live with it. So four points of damage. No, um, four, five points of damage. He does three right back. One, two, three. Oh, there we go. And then he tries, or we, we have to do a roll off for the, what was it? The five points of damage. And a five and five, we didn't beat him. So it, it's only um, do half. So only three points of damage. So still not bad. One, two, three. Oh, wow. We might pull this off after all, folks. Okay, so that's that. And, all right, so he clicked in, he avoided it, did the three counter, and so now it's his turn. He says, hi, I'd like to pistol whip you. And he will spend one CP to do it. All right, so he's going to knock down on the active player. So Jen is knocked down again, not on fire. Knocked down, okay. And uh, he's going for magic bullet. So let's see what, show, what he's got. Oh, wait. Oh, but wait. First of all, bleed. Wait, no. First of all, he's got to see if he bleeds. Oh, he shook one of them. He shook one of the bleeds. But he still took one point of damage. Then he will um, try and see what he's got. All right. Okay. He got two vortexes and the chaos. He needs one more vortex. Nope. And nope. Sucker! You lose. All righty. So, but... No, no, no. All right, so he is going to try to cheat one more time, which he needs a four, five, or six. He did get it, so he gets to start all over again. Oh, man, don't like that. Bing, bing. There, okay. And he pulled it off. No, here comes the magic bullet. Seven points of damage. And um, roll one. No, six points of damage. So he's at six because of the dishonor, and then that's gone. Six points of damage, and roll. And gets three evasives. Oh, he just became evasive. Oh, no. All right, so six points of damage coming Jen's way. Uh, the kitty cat is not up, so the kitty cat cannot take the damage. So Jen will maternal bond. And um, if Nira was active, Nira is not active, so she doesn't get to do four damage here. And this doesn't do anything. Oh! So all six comes through. Down to 12. Okay, if only the kitty had been up. If only he rolled a magic, the kitty would have gotten up. Oh, well. Alrighty, so uh, that was that. R okay, so he's done. And, right, what is evasive? When a player with evasive receives damage, he can choose to spend the token. If spent, roll one. If a one or two, no damage is received. Ah, oh, another way to dodge us. Okay, so that was that. Mr. Samurai, you're up. Alrighty. Uh, I could upgrade my katana slice. 
Could draw some more cards. Could do a follow through. Um. Um. I am going to do the katana slice because I've been rolling katanas quite a bit. Not that that means I'll ever do it again. So we'll see what happens. Okay. So that's it. And I'm saving this uh, last CP for the follow through just in case. <laughs> Did I say I've been rolling a lot of katanas? I have been. Alrighty. So that's uh, first reroll. Ah. Go for it. Second. Yes! Boom! All right. That is eight points of damage, and I have also shamed him. And eight. All right. But that means he hits me back for three unblockable. One, two, three. And uh, once again, okay, this time, finally, I'm going to get the six. He's going to get the one. A four and a three. Yes! Did it! So, all eight made... No. Yes. All eight made it through. He is down to two. Oh, we got him on the ropes, folks. We got him on the ropes. Okay. And, um, all right, I don't get any Bushido. Anyway, so that's it. Now he's going to come right back at me. And uh, he cannot afford the hourglass, so he'll sell that. And, right, so what's he trying to roll? He wants to get straights. Oh, 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 oh! Shoot, I forgot. He's evasive. So I didn't necessarily do eight. When that eight came in, he spent these three evasive. Oh, wait, no, no. If you roll one or two, okay, so he spent on a one or two, no damage is received. All right, he failed it. He'll try it again. He failed it. He'll try it again. He six. Ah! He got. Ah! Oh, samurai! No, he evaded you. No. Oh. Well, at least he's shamed. Well, he has nothing to be ashamed of. That was some. That was some good uh, sword dodging there. Okay. So, and now he's. I'm coming for you. I got a bounty on you. All right. So, uh, hourglass can afford it. He's trying to get straights. Six, five, two, right. So he got five and a six. He's working on that straight. There's a four and a two, no good. And a six and a five. He failed at the straight. He is once again going to try and cheat. He failed. So he fails. He fails completely. Ah, hooray. So nothing bad happens. Okay. Jen is up. Getting paid. She will use this immediately to get two CP. That's all it does. Alrighty, and she will, um, oh, and she gets one CP, and, right, we just have to, we have to do ten, because, oh, he evaded that super strike from the samurai. Oh, and, but Nira, as part of upkeep, heals, back up and at it, ready to take damage, or ready to add plus two to attacks we do. Okay, let's, let's go, let's go, let's roll, let's roll. Alright, what do we got? Ah, could heal up, heal her back up by three, but nope, that makes no sense, it's time to fight. Two magic, two uh, claws. All right, we could go savage. I think that makes sense. Let's go for that. Okay, we've hit savage. We've got a three, four, six, and a five. Okay, instead of savage, we've got onslaught. Although, yeah, we could give him another bleed and four damage as opposed to four and potentially the bleed or potentially something else, let's just stick with the savage. All right, so we're done. We're going for savage. And then let's take this and see what we add to that savage. It's another six, which is a bleed. We got it anyway. All right, so um, the bleed is going there. And there's four points of damage, plus two, because Nira's back up, is six points of damage, right? Yes, six points of damage. Although we were knocked down. We've had spent, I totally forgot, we spent two command points to get rid of this knockdown. Six points of damage going your way. He immediately hits back for three unblockable. And let's roll it off. Two, oh! So, was six, but it just turned into three. Dang it. One, two... Uh, yeah, one, two, three. Oh, dang. Oh, that's too bad. Um, wait, 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 wait. No, let's add to this. Let's add to this. Um... No, yes. So, helping hand. Jen gave her a helping hand. Um, so, the, uh, force your force them to re-roll that re-roll they just did. Oh, I've totally forgotten what the roll-off was, though. Dang it. All right, okay, we won't do it. We won't do it. But I could have done the re-roll to... All right, say la vie. All right, well, well, we'll live with it. We'll live with it. We'll live with it. Oh, I'm losing track, folks. I'm, I'm getting crazy. But anyway, so, his turn. He comes back. He can, he affords coffers. Yep, it's zero. So he gets three. 
One, two, three, and draws a card, which means now he ha he will he will reload one, two, three, which he wouldn't have been able to afford otherwise. Dug deep into his coffers. When you spend a, a reload token, if the outcome is one or two, right. Um, when you spend a reload token, right, but he doesn't have any. If the outcome is one or two, reload that die one time, then add one damage for each reload. All right, so he hasn't earned any reloads yet, which uh, I haven't fought him before. I don't know how he gets, I mean, he must get reloads off of something. So this does not say he gets reloads, just that when he uses reloads, they're better than normal. So, all right, well, then I'm just going to go on ahead, and I could be wrong about that, but we'll continue, and let's see if he hits his objective. All right, uh, he's almost there off his first roll, but his second roll gives him nothing. His third roll, he succeeded. Ugh! All righty, so what is that? That is King's Bounty. Another, another uh, bounty. Okay. And um, five, undefendable, so it just comes right on through. Oh, dear. Did I say we were doing well? Maybe we're not. Oh, wait, oh, wait. One, two, four, five. It's undefendable, but it can go to the kitty cat instead. Who was at five? The kitty cat gets knocked right on out again. Okay, that was worth it. And um, But we do still have a bounty over here. But she took it, not her, so the bounty didn't go into effect. That's it. Samurai is up. The longer I go, folks, the more mistakes I'm making. I'm very sorry, Apollo. I just want to see this through. Bye-bye. Remove a status effect. All right, give yourself a command, why don't you? Um, I'll worry about that in a second. Let's see. Okay, what's this follow through again? Right, uh, do more damage, right. So, I'm um, almost at Solemnity. I got three on the Katana Slice. Um, I'd rather do Undefendable, but I'm a million miles away from that. I have a one, two, three, four. I have a, I have a freaking long straight. Boom. How about straight to this? No re-rolls, which means we will be getting honor. Seven points of damage and roll four dice. So we've triggered this. Let's roll four dice. And so it's seven, eight, nine, ten, and a shame. Nice. Oh, by the way, he had shame. So I forget who the last person he hit is. When he had, he should have had, he should have done one less point of damage. Let's say it was one less point of damage to Jen. Oh, it must be 100 degrees in here, folks. Sorry. But anyway, so 7, 8, 9, 10. No. 7, yeah, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 points of damage coming your way, Mr. Man. And I didn't get any shame because I rolled the helmet. 11 points coming your way. He hits me for 3. So this is going to KO me. So I'm out. But if I can get this 11 through, then it doesn't matter. 4 versus 3. Boom! Uh, we both went down in a blaze of glory. And we win. Oh, dee -doo 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 -doo. Our reward, if I recall correctly, a cool 20 gold. Um, right. Or we can look more specifically. Yep, gain 20 gold, go shopping, and advance to scenario three, having beaten the second boss. We have 26 gold. We draw. Each player has 26. Or, I'm sorry, not 26. We round up. So we round up to 30. 30. 30, which means we could afford three commons, or two rares, or one epic and one common. Um, oh, I never even used the salves. We had the opportunity. This, When you use this anytime you want, you get to roll and heal yourself by that much. If you use it before the final boss fight, you can roll twice and take the better value and heal by that much. They cost 10 to buy. All right, so, and how many are we getting? It should say somewhere. Oh, yeah, so we draw three uh, commons and two rares. But remember, Jen found this. She better believe she is going to buy this for only five. Normally would have cost 20, and it's a campfire. Uh, pay two, draw a card. Each of your teammates draws a card. That is awesome. That goes into the deck along with you know, draw three and two and uh, six at level two. Ser Strength serum, try, try again. Linking, bye bye level two. If you take one of these level twos, you replace your old bye bye with the new bye bye level two. <clears throat> you don't keep both of them in your deck as you deck build your way to the next scenario. Folks, that was it. A big, epic boss fight full of a million goofs, I'm sure. But like always, hopefully you just get the idea of what it feels like to play. And that's why the subtitles are turned on. Again, sorry, Paulo. But, folks, that was Dice Throne Adventures. If you want to hear some final thoughts now, hit that I in the top right corner screen. Or follow those show notes in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.